Hello and welcome to today's video. The team of the camel and I are glad to see you here. Yes, thank you for joining us. Anne and I are very excited that you are here today. We have a Voxy Charm box. Yes, we are subscribed to the base box for Boxy Charm. This is their February box where their card says treat your heart out. And it's been stated by many other people, there's no pricing on the back of this month's card. Instead, it says to follow them on Instagram to get excited for the biggest beauty news of the year. And I know some people have been in love with their boxes and some people have not been as much in love with their boxes. So let's hop on in and see what they sent us and are we in love or are we not treating our heart out. The item that I picked for my choice for this month's base box was a mascara from Benefit, the Their Real Magnet. And supposedly this has some type of a magnetic field in it that's supposed to help your lashes. So I was curious to see if this item is better or worse or how it compares to the rollerball lash mascara that I am addicted to. We got two makeup sponges. These are from VC Collection. They are a marble sponge duo. Currently they're packaged up still and I'll keep them that way until I either need to use them or decide to pass them along. We have a product here from Misha Beauty in the shade Angel. It is a tinted lip balm. It is a color that, personally, I don't think that has anything to do with an angel, if my honest opinion counts for anything, because, hey, I don't make cosmetics. I just use them. I wouldn't call that shade angel. And for me, that is much darker than what I would care to use. So this will wind up in a future donation gift or giveaway box. Next is a palette from Beauty Bakery. The proof is in the pudding. And it doesn't have a mirror, but it has a fairly good collection of shades, things that I might play around with. This is not my usual fancy blingy colors, yet I do seem to like these shades, so the camel will do some swatches in a little bit. Oh goody, I like doing swatches. We also have another palette of eyeshadows from Guild and La La Beauty. And this is called the Grown Woman Palette. This does have a mirror. I think I've got it where I cannot blind everybody. These shades are definitely darker than what I would use or desire to use. So this palette is not going to be swatched. It's going to be set aside for a future giveaway or gift box and hopefully it will find a happy home because for me this is just not my choice, my preference. So what do you think of the items that we received in this box? Was it a good Valentine's box or are they just slowly clearing out their cupboards in anticipation of whatever wondrous, exciting thing is coming next? What do you think? Leave us a comment below. We are curious. We want to know. And have you tried any of these products? Yes, tell us about everything. I want to know it all. And now I want to do swatches. Cue the music. The camel will now do swatches!
nice job with the swatches, Camel. Thank you. I like swatching. Do you like swatching? So now getting down to the nitty gritty of things. The box weighed in at one pound and six ounces. I know that was a popular thing that people always wanted to know the weight before. Let me know, do you still want to know the weight of these boxes? This box is $28 and change, and there is a $1.99 handling fee. The shipping is free, so all in I pay $30.37. I did look up the prices on their website just to get an idea of how things played out in the value of what I paid into this box and what I got out of it. The mascara was $28. The makeup sponges were $20. Boy, that's pricey. Hmm. The lip balm in the shade Angel was $23. The Give Them La La Beauty Grown Woman palette was $42. The Beauty Bakery Proof is in the Pudding palette was $38. So that gave me an overall retail value of $151. Now, granted, a couple of those items are going to wind up in a donation or a future giveaway box undecided at the moment but i know there's a couple products that i'm just not going to keep because i know i, I won't be using them so that decreases my value to 86 dollars so it's still a decent return on my investment overall is this our favorite box? No, it surely is not. Is this the worst box I've ever gotten from BoxyCharm? No, it certainly is not. You've had some other clunkers. Yeah, I've had some other clunkers. So my guess is that they're just cleaning house and we get to wait and see what is coming in the future. So. Comment down below, what do you think? Do you get this box? Have you been liking this box? Are you going to keep getting this box or are you going to give it a kick to the... I can't finish that sentence because it would get me kicked off YouTube. In any case, we thank you for joining us today and we would love it if you would subscribe. We're trying to build the channel. And it would also give you a chance to see what other adventures and things that Fatima the Camel and I get ourselves into. We have some fun adventures over here. So consider subscribing. Check out my description box below if you haven't. There's some interesting links and information down there. Check out a playlist. Check out a video. Have a great day. And we do hope to see you again in another video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.